Hi everybody. Suppose that we have a semicircle and inside of that we inscribe a triangle that is touching the arc of the semicircle and inside of the triangle we inscribe a circle and on another side we inscribe an another circle that is tangent to the one line of the triangle and the arc of the semicircle. Now if two purple triangles are congruent and the radius of semicircle is capital R then find the area of triangle form inside the semicircle so first you please give your trial to this question and keep watching for the solution now for solving this we need to prove many result that i do many times in my videos so one of them is if we have a circle and inside of that we have another circle that is touching the arc of the bigger circle let this O be the center of the bigger circle and this be the center of our smaller circle and draw this tangential line where all these smaller and bigger circles are tangent first drop the tangent from the bigger circle and soon as we know that this is perpendicular and now tangent from the smaller circle and we know that this is also perpendicular now the angle between smaller and bigger radius let this be alpha so writing the equation of our complete line which is equal to 180 degrees is equal to 90 degrees plus 90 degrees plus alpha so what we have is alpha is equal to 0 so it means the tangential line from the center of the bigger circle is passing through the center of the smaller circle like that which, which is shown in figure now we need to prove one more theorem which is suppose that we have a semicircle and we draw a triangle from the base of the semicircle to the arc of the semicircle and whenever these two lines of triangle meet at the arc this always makes an angle of 90 degrees and i didn't prove this theorem in this video because this makes it too much long and this is a very basic theorem you can prove it yourself now here is our given figure let this be the center of semicircle and this be the center of smaller circle now draw the radius that is passing through the center of smaller circle and we know that by this theorem the radius is passing through the tangential point and one more thing that we need to know is where it intersects the line of triangle at this point the radius is perpendicular and this is exactly passing through the tangential point of smaller circle and the line of triangle and I also didn't prove this in this video because this makes it too much long and you can prove it yourself. Now we move on. So this orange line is 2R because our radius of smaller circle is R and this green line is capital R minus 2 small times small r because our radius of semicircle is capital R. So our this angle is also equals to 90 degrees by our theorem. Now let this be the center of our this smaller circle. Now drop the tangential points. We know that they are perpendiculars. Let the radius of smaller circle be r. So this is also r and this is also r here. We buy our theorem. Now drop the another tangential point line. Sorry. And this is also perpendicular. And let this side be alpha. So this side is also equals to alpha. Now looking in this blue triangle and this gray triangle, these both triangles are similar because one of the angle is of 90 degrees and one of the angle are common here. So let this side be x and this side is also equals to x. Now writing the equation of inequality. So we have 2 times capital R divided by capital R is equals to R plus alpha divided by green line and green line is R minus 2R. So we have this. Now substituting this more. So what we have is 2 alpha is equals to 2 capital R minus 5 small r and writing this in the corner. Now using the Pythagoras theorem in our blue triangle, so what we have is r square is equals to x square plus green line again this is r minus 2r square. So finally we have this and now subtracting both sides with negative capital R square. So we have x square is equals to 4 capital R times small r minus 4 times small r square and again writing this in the corner. Now by our this theorem that we proved already, 
we can say x plus x minus small r is equal to r plus r minus alpha. So what we have is this and now using this equation alpha is equal to 2r minus 5r we have this so finally we have x is equal to 3r and again writing this in the corner and using our this equation which is 4 times capital R times small r minus 4 times small r square is equal to x square and putting the value of x is equal to 3r so what we have is this and finally we have 4 times capital R times small r is equal to 13 times small r square and dividing both sides with small r so we have 4 times r is equal to 13 times small r and again writing this in the corner now we know that area of triangle it is right angle triangle so this is equal to 1 over 2 times base times altitude and the base is here is equal to 2x so 2 times 3 times 4r divided by 13 which is equal to 24r divided by 13 and the altitude which is equal to r plus 2r times 5r which is equal to 2r minus 4 times 4r divided by 13 so it is equal to 10r divided by 13 so putting the values we have this so finally what we have is area of triangle is equal to 120 r square divided by 13 square and that is our correct answer.